Serbia is pretty AF. Just give me a sausage at a bus stop and I'm quite happy. A top tier elite Spominik. Petnica. Holy absolute moly. I can see so many bats. Oh shit, there's another one. Right, hi everyone and welcome back to Serbia once again. This is part number eight of my 2022 Serbia series. I'm in the city of Valjevo, which is kind of equidistant between Belgrade and Užice, where I'm currently staying. This behind me is Nenadovic Tower, which was used as an arsenal and also a point of surveillance during the first Serbian uprising in 1813. I'm full of interesting facts, aren't I? Okay, there was a sign behind me. And I see what they mean by the whole surveillance thing, because you can see the city behind it's a little bit high up. It's not like Mount Everest, but you know, it would provide a bit of uh, vision, you know, for people back then. And you'll notice a few things in this video. I've got fluff hair. I look like a 12 year old. That's because I stayed here overnight and I forgot my hair product. Also, there were no drone shots in this video because the app is not working on my phone. Brilliant. As per my t-shirt, I'm furious. But you know, that's a little bit different. You know, we can just be on the ground today rather than be constantly up in the air. Um, so that's all right. I'll make it work. As always, it's good to see these landmarks in Serbia preserved given Serbia's expansive and elaborate history. It was burnt down as per most things in Serbia due to war and conflict etc but it was reconstructed um, I think about 100 years ago. I'm probably wrong. Make that almost 200 years ago, 1836. Milos Oblenovic. You can go inside, it's like a museum tour thing but honestly I don't have time for that. More on that right now. So yeah, the last video was a 4k walk around in the centre of Valjevo. Check that one out if you like and as I said in that video I'm not going to focus too much on the city in this video we're going to go out to some different areas that's the plan so before you start on me in the comments there's my explanation Sastava and also on that sign up there I don't know if you can see the names of different monasteries in the region now as per most Serbia videos you'll probably notice that I am littering this video with shots of various monuments slash spominics and this one particularly interested me I'll tell you why this is the monument to Vuk Stefanovic Karadzic who was the greatest reformer of Serbian language and spelling and for me as a language geek etymology geek you name it it's fascinating I know that Serbs are incredibly passionate about their language and the preservation of it particularly the Cyrillic alphabet as well he's got a ginormous moustache hasn't he it's huge which I could grow one like that. Valuable is a pretty city, as you can see. There's some really nice architecture, there's museums, etc. Up there is a really nice building. Look at that dome up the top. Kind of like a pinky colour. Desanka Maksimovic, who is one of the most well known Serbian poets and writers. She was born in a village very close to here and died in Belgrade. I've returned to Teshdar, which was featured in the last video. We walked all the way down here at sunset as people started to set up their restaurants and things. It's the area of the city which has very much kind of been preserved as per 18th century Serbia. You know, much of Serbia and Serbian cities were destroyed as Serbia sought independence back then. And this area was one area that has been preserved. And again, it's another good sign that, you know, there is focus on history in Serbia, you know, because it is very quaint, you know, and all these shots I'm showing you were actually filmed yesterday. So I'm hoping the sunlight is consistent. Yeah, it's nice, lovely. I mean, on face value, as you can see behind me, it does look like it could do with a bit of work, but maybe that's the whole point. Maybe it's not meant to look immaculate. Maybe it's meant to kind of encapsulate the feeling of that time. Before we move on, I just wanted to show you this bar and restaurant here. It's really cool. I might come here later after I finish filming, but look at the sort of stuff in the windows. We've got all these old vehicles, like toy cars. There's a taxi thing there. that's like a minibus, NYC taxi. We've got all these US license plates up here and over here there is some more there's a london bus there a route master spectacular and there's inside i have to be quick because of copyrighted music but they've got more signs up on the wall in the distance looks like a cool place to come for a rakia and a cigarette oh it's another church what a shock it looks much bigger let's check it out bloody hell it's sunny 
Um, this church kind of reminds me of an Orthodox church in Ukraine or Estonia. Alexander Nevsky, for example, with the domes at the top because they're that dark colour. Normally in those countries, a lot of them will be by jet black or matte black, whatever. Um, but yeah, it looks similar, you know, Orthodox everywhere. There's a guy with an accordion there, classic Serbia. And regarding the drone, I'm kind of like, oh no, I don't have to do an additional extra hour of work. <laughs> I'm a lazy bitch these days. It's very large, isn't it? Very grey and concrete. Are they doing some work? Yes, they're scaffolding. Maybe they're maybe it's being renovated. Yeah, you can see in various places, particularly up there where the paintwork is being redone. I think this church is one of the ones that is featured in that place in Krushovac, the one with all the models of the churches around Serbia. I could be wrong, but it looks familiar, strangely. But there's even a little model here. Serbia does like its models, doesn't it? Particularly of churches. It is strange to see a church like this that is so grey and barren. It's a brand new experience. God, imagine the work that needs to be done. I don't envy them. Ah, that's better. This lemonade is iconic. Well, it's not that good, but it's, you know, it's lemonade. I drink it a lot. We're um, climbing. I've got to go that way, I think. Once again, Serbia is pretty AF. And there's a cat. Um, yeah, look, we're heading up the hill towards the monument of the soldiers of the revolution, which I think is behind me. Look over there as I just trip over. Silos, industrialness, industry in other words. That building there, I would love to explore that one. It looks particularly derelict and go up on that roof, that would be cool. I can either go left or right, I think right. Right, I can see the Spominik through the trees and it looks elite. Let me get my breath back, hang on. Now this is what I call a top tier elite Spominik. Look at it fist pumping into the air, ah, overlooking the city in the distance and the hills. There we go. And as in Slatterboard, the grey skies behind provide an ominous backdrop to this Spominik. Reminds me of the one in Nice, you know, with the three fists coming through the ground, although that's a bit of a different meaning, but it's still got the fists of victory celebration, you know. It's really spectacular, isn't it? Like, these monuments are always like up a hill in the middle of nowhere with an amazing view of the city and it's all silent and peaceful surrounded by wildlife and trees yes it's to do with the partisans i'm not going to bother reading the whole thing 1941 to 1945 world war ii look at those clouds so that monument is actually stefan filipovich who is a national hero who was hanged here in 1942 Pavilion, Markova Stolica, 100 metres, let's go. I think it's a viewpoint up here. Oh, oh yeah, Marko's chair. I think I saw a, a gravestone back there for Marko by the Spominik. Most famous lookout point. Widest view of the city. Who needs a drone? Yes, the uh, Kolubara River, which runs around here. Marko Kraljevic, who was the grave I saw back there. He was a poet, another poet, who used to sit here, apparently, and wash his feet in the river. Brilliant. Oh wow, I am truly shocked. This is stunning. Again, just like in Novavarosh, we've got a lot of greenery. Just like in Ovjadabanya, just like everywhere in this region of Serbia. <sighs> Obviously different trees, not pine, I assume. Although I did see pine cones back there. You can imagine getting married here, as if I'd want to do that. Quite a posh looking restaurant here as well. Oh, it looks like there's um, some sort of planned party going on, maybe a wedding reception or something. 
That was nice, wasn't it? There's the gravestone I mentioned down there, and someone was just taunting me by flying their drone above me. Thanks very much. But now, as Buffy the Vampire Slayer once said, now is when you make a choice. I could either go to the Gdalats Canyon, which I mentioned in the last video with the cleanest water in Europe. Otters live there. There are also monasteries, as I touched on briefly earlier. Or I could go to a 6,000-year-old Neolithic cave. I think you know the one I would rather go to. We kind of did canyons and monasteries in the Of Banya video, so I don't want to repeat myself. Petnica, let's go. We've got four kilometers to walk. That's easy. Yeah, there is a bus as well, apparently. Honestly, I can't be bothered. I've been sat on my ass in front of my laptop all week. I need some exercise. Quick stop in, Maxi. Chocolate milkshake. I wanted a pizza but there's only a small bakery section. Gorbasica and plasma. That should keep me going. I'm assuming this is the bus stop you have to go to. I'm just standing here eating my gobasitsa out of the packet on the street as you do. Classic me. And noticing the usual notices of death or obituaries. People sometimes say, oh, you should go to this bougie restaurant, that bougie restaurant. No, just give me a sausage at a bus stop and I'm quite happy. It's how I roll, all right? I'm assuming that's the bus, but here's the sign. Look, I didn't expect there to be all this. All I read about was the cave and also the science center, research center. There's also a lake, Church of the Dormition. What's Dormition? I'm definitely in Serbian farmland. There's an overwhelming aroma of shit cow poo, manure lingering in the air. Lovely. It's like proper farmland in the UK. Thistles, weeds and berries. I thought these were blackberries from a distance, but obviously they're not. They're just regular berries. I don't know what they are. What am I, berry expert? Apparently I've been transported to rural southwest England. Ah, I think I'm going to die, but there is a Citroen 2CV. Iconic. Lots of cars like that around here. Someone's having a party of some kind. Is it a birthday? There's a Zastava over there, an old looking one. They've got like a marquee up as well. So I guess they've got something going on, celebration. You can't get more Serbia than this, can you? Music in the background, celebration going on. And just a short walk from the city itself, you've got this absolutely iconic Serbian countryside icon. I can see a church over there between the trees. The guy in that car just got out for a piss. When you gotta go, you gotta go, right? There's the church I was talking about. It's quite secluded up that hill. Right after quite a lengthy walk, I believe the cave is over there. There are some cars that drove past me with the Serbian flag out the window and I, with like wedding things on. So I'm assuming they're doing something to do with their wedding there. So what I mean about the cars? Maybe there's a wedding going on. And look at this. So I've read that it's free entry and apparently it's rather unmaintained, as you can tell behind me. That's all good with me. I can see through there, there's definitely a wedding going on which it appears I'm about to gate crash. Apologies. Um, but this area at the entrance to the cave is supposedly the first Neolithic habitat in modern day former Yugoslavia. It says here that Petnica cave is 580 meters long and the width varies from one meter to 20 meters. As you can see, you've got all these caves, halls, pharynx, Well, let's go in. Happy wedding. Pozdrav. Well, hang on, this is just a lower cave, I think. Where's the other entrance? Oh, over there. Brilliant. I don't get it. Do I have to go to some other entrance? Oh, hang on, there's steps up here. Ooh, scary. I can't see a thing, nor can you. That's better. You can see the steps thanks to my phone. There's a handrail too. Apologies for the terrible lighting, but that's what happens in the dark. Oh, it's a stake. Are there vampires here? Is Buffy here after all? Look at this for lighting. Um, so this is quite a steep stairway and it is rather slippery as you would expect. So be careful. Probably not best to film while you're doing it. As you get further up this stairwell, as you can see, the uh, ceiling <laughs> is a bit low. What in the name of Milos Obrenovic is this? Can you hear the echo? Oh my Jesus Christ. Look at this. Holy absolute moly. This is amazing. Could this be the most top tier elitist thing in Serbia ever? <sighs> There's a door up there too. It's so high and echoey. There are holes in the ceiling, in the rock, I mean. It's almost like some sort of ancient, like, place where people would sacrifice a goat or something, or a human. Um, 
like some sort of altar. It's, this is thoroughly bizarre. It's a bonfire. I'm half expecting to find like an exposed tibia or something or a skull. It's that sort of place, you know. Absolutely monstrous. Look, there's a door and it goes outside. Oh shit. Ah, oh fuck. See what I mean about Slippy? So I think, I'm not completely sure because it's not very clear, I was just in the upper cave, which is supposedly where Dragon sleeps. The dragon, this isn't an English lesson, David. Um, but yeah, apparently a dragon lives in the upper cave and there's a lake eight meters deep, that wasn't there. A dragon, that's all I need. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to go, because honestly I don't want to get lost in a 580 metre long cave, as you do. Um, but uh, we'll see what we can find. You know, there's a bear's hole as well, animal remnants as well. I also read that there were Roman weapons found down here. There are several skeletons of a cave bear and a cave lynx. There are also bats, bat colonies. That's a bit further on, I believe. Right, I think that direction goes back down to the lower cave. So we're going to go back and see the dragon and go up that other place we were gonna go <laughs> wish me luck here yeah, we're back in here the dragon's cave and it is something like out of game of thrones or merlin you know with this sort of door you could just imagine like a wizard with a dragon i haven't seen game of thrones i've never seen a single episode but you know what i mean right this bit doesn't look too bad it's less slippery famous last words i think those other people were quite happy with just going to the two caves but as per me I'm gonna go further, but not too much further. For example, down here, I can't see the bottom, so, you know, I'm not gonna risk my life. Oh, but wow, look up here. From up here, you can have a really good view of the dragon's cave. Oh, I just went all dizzy, Jesus. It's interesting, the further you get in, it's hot, but also cold. <sighs> can't see it on camera, but I can see my breath, you know. Really iconic, kind of different thing to do in Serbia. Oh, what's up here? A bat just flew past me. I'm not scared of bats. Um, a lot of people seem to be. And scared of rats and snakes. I love them. <sighs> Spiders, on the other hand, not so much. I think this just goes round in a circle. Where are the bats? Psst, 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 psst. Hello, angels. I don't think they'll respond to that. I've got to stop doing jokes. Actually, it is kind of well thought out. You know, the steps have been made. Oh, hang on, I can hear water and bats. Can you hear that? That's definitely bats. It might be birds. Oh, fucking hell, a bat just literally flew past my, past my face. There's another one. Jesus Christ. I'm in bat land. Oh, there they are. Wow, I wish you could see the bats. <laughs> I'm looking up there. I can see so many bats flying around in a circle. Oh, shit, there's another one. Bloody hell, they're everywhere. Um, I've never been somewhere like this in my life. I can't believe it. I don't want to scare the bats, you know. Maybe I should get out of here. You know, as well as seeing the bats flying everywhere, the light obviously is creating the shadow of the bats on the rock behind it. They're literally flying around in circles everywhere, all over my head and everything. So I'm not even joking. It is like a swarm of bats. It's like when someone disturbs a wasp's nest, except not wasps, bats. I could probably continue up there, but honestly, I'll get hit in the face by one. It's, there are that many. I'm still here. Honestly, I've just got to say, this is one of the most unbelievable things I've ever experienced. Like, not only in the last six years of travelling, but ever in my entire life. I could just stay in here with the bats. Listen to it. The bat noises, the wings flapping. I'm like David Attenborough, except more annoying. Right after all that bat chaos, my battery died unsurprisingly, so that's why the picture's a bit shit now, but whatever. And um, that wasn't the Dragon's Hall, it was the Concert Hall. That's why there are two skylights in the ceiling to allow light in for performances. And in the Bear's Hall, those skeletons I mentioned are between 2 million and 10,000 years old before humans existed. The Ice Age, can you believe it? Wonderful. Time to go home. 
Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <clears throat> this is future David coming at you, by the way, for about a week and a half later, because unsurprisingly, I forgot to film the end bit. Professional, and I'm just editing it right now, and I just watched that back part back again, and of course, I was on the floor laughing. But I'm glad I went there, instead of going to that canyon. I can go to the canyon another time, right? The reason I say that is that after filming 500 or so videos on YouTube over the years, it's very difficult not to repeat yourself. You want to do new things, at least I want to do new things in every video, kind of. I don't just want every video to be full of monasteries. That would be boring! Um, also, I was going to say, I said earlier that Valiever is kind of equidistant between Belgrade and Užice. Tip of the day, if you are coming to Serbia and maybe you want to go to Zlatibor, I would absolutely suggest stopping off in Valjevo because it's a good stopping off point. I did see hostels. I'm pretty sure I did. I saw people walking around with backpacks, things like that. So if you are a budget traveller, brilliant. And lastly, I have a new power bank. This time it works. Brilliant. Um, and I bought this in the location for the next video, which is an absolute iconic legacy character location from the past. And I'll give you a clue in the last shot of this video in a moment. Let's just say it involves a certain type of architecture that I enjoy, and it's gonna be an absolutely top tier epic video. Lovely. Hope you enjoyed Valleyville and Petnica. See you next time. Catch you later.